So obviously the buyback is super interesting, but it was a bit on expectations in many ways. Yeah, I think that's fair, Heidi. And, you know, broad, broad set of results which are reasonably positive in the sense that um, you've had that follow through of, of hiking that dividend, just looking at the reaction from the folks over at Goldman Sachs. They were expecting 70 Australian uh, cents uh, for that uh, dividend increase. We actually got 72 on the final dividend, so slightly higher by their estimates. And of course, the 1.5 billion Aussie dollars worth of, um, uh, worth of buyback. So um, they're clearly wanting to uh, make a statement here that they've got enough uh, on the balance sheet to be able to continue to deliver back to shareholders. Um, there's quite interesting commentary on their um, cost position, uh, continuing that kind of long process that Peter King's now um, had at the bank of, of, of trying to really just simplify the bank, sell off assets that are non-core, uh, and in the same time, you know, bring down expenses across the across the bank, which looks like it's it's continuing to. The the, the big thing here is is how much of this is already baked into uh, the stock price and of course Westpac's been a big underperformer relative to the market and to the broader bank space uh, this year um, so it'll be interesting to see here whether investors give the benefit of the doubt to some of this money coming back to them or whether they look more at the cautious times ahead. Well and briefly Adam what did CEO Peter King say about the economic outlook that might tell us something about the bank's profitability from here? Well, on the one hand, he's saying we're broadly positive on the economic outlook, but he's also pointing to a couple of things which we already know, one being first the intense competition in the local mortgage market, which of course Westpac has been one big beneficiary, taking some market share away from Commonwealth Bank with a little bit more discounting. But into next year, um, that looks like it's still a pretty tough place to be. If you believe that we're pretty much at peak rates or there or thereabouts in Australia, uh, it looks like times are getting a little bit tougher from here and further pressure on net interest margins.